do you guys want to help out with the Minecraft realms? Go ahead and go down to the description. I'm going to leave an application so you guys can go ahead and apply for my team for map making. And it will definitely help me out a lot. And you guys will see more map downloads and realms out. We just need as many people as we can get. We need builders, command people, and just in general everything. You'll see it down in the description first link. And you guys will be able to apply. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to stay notified when I'll be uploading. Did, did you click it? Pixelmon, a mod that allows you to add Pokemon, and by far, it's one of my favorite mods for the hit Swedish block game, Minecraft. Nintendo has taken it down quite a bit of times, but there are ways to go ahead and install it, which I'm going to be showing you guys this in this tutorial. To get started, you want to go ahead and go over to the Technic Launcher website, so I'm going to leave it down in the description below so you guys can go ahead and install it. Then go ahead and click on Download the Launcher, and you guys will be able to go through the installation. And then once you have the installation, go ahead and open it up and type in your username and password for your Minecraft account. And then let's go ahead and find the mod pack for Pixelmon. When you open the launcher, you'll get something looking like this, Discover, Mod Packs, and News. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on Mod Packs, and there's a few different installations of Pixelmon. There's Pixelmon Generations, and there's Pixelmon Reforged. So Reforged is the one that we're going to be doing today. So make sure to go ahead and type in Pokeblast. And I want to disclose that this video is sponsored by a Pixelmon server, but it is an essential skill to be getting on these Pixelmon servers, and Pixelmon is actually really fun. So let's go ahead and click Install. But let me go ahead and wait for this and I'll meet you guys on the other side. So now that we have the mod pack, there's another cool thing that I want to go over with you guys. But it's not even cool. It's kind of essential. So there is going to be a Java download and this is going to allow you guys to use more RAM. Usually it only lets you guys use a certain amount of RAM. So it's only going to let you use like a really small amount like 512 megabytes and you can't go any higher so i'm gonna leave a java version down there and it's gonna say find new version the folder is going to be called jre so let's go ahead and go through this so usually it's going to be in your downloads and this is not essential if you see it correctly then you're all good to go right here jre then we want to go ahead and go to the bin then we want to click on java.exe right there and you're all good to go and this has a java version which is already yep so you can see it's already linked to this so we're already good to go so that's about it for that just click on play and you should be all good okay now that we're loaded in let's go ahead and check this out you can also play in single player and it's basically like pokemon reforge but the only difference with this mod pack is it has the server on it which is actually pretty cool so let's go ahead and log in it should give us a texture pack if it doesn't then i will provide one down in the description so as you can see you can choose from a bunch of different pixelmon let's go with i'm not too sure which one let's go with Cyndaquil generation 2 okay now that we're on the server let's go ahead and check out a bunch of the features that it has and there's two different types of pixelmon servers that you guys can come across and i haven't really seen any other types so this is a survival server where you guys can go ahead and build and it's basically like a community type thing where you can catch different pokemon run around but the adventure that's the one that i'm really interested in because it has a story and it's really good for videos and it's really fun to play so let's go ahead and find a random pokemon i'm trying to show you guys the catching features uh, let's go ahead and throw out our pokemon as you can see, I just pressed R, and we do have a Cyndaquil level 5, which is actually pretty cool. So let's go ahead, get back Cyndaquil, and all you need to do is just press R. So let's go ahead and capture this. I don't know if we can do it the first try. Let's try it. Oh. Did, did we get it? Um. Oh. Oh. This is how it's going to be? Cyndaquil, I choose you. 
think I'm playing around out here? Come on. Fight. Tackle. I don't know why... I don't know why this sentry thinks I'm playing. Like, I, I just don't know why. Okay, we're gonna hit it with another tackle. Like... Well, um... <laughs> Uh, time to go back to the Pokemon Center, you, you already know. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll meet you guys there. Healing and trading, and we hear a Voltorb in the background. So let's go ahead and check this out. So we do have some, we go over some of the basics. So this is healing, right here is the PC. So let's go ahead and get our Pokemon healed up. Just our one, and it pauses your game kind of, it just freezes, I can't move. And it's a little bit weird, but it's actually just how Pixmon is. So we're back and ready to go. So as you can see, let's go ahead and throw our Pokemon. We're all back to full health, and it's all cool. That Sentret is not going to get us next time, but there's actually some pretty cool things. There's trading stations here, and this is what I did in the first Pixelmon episode, which that series is continuing. I've just been extremely busy, so we're going to definitely be recording on the Poke Mayhem server. Right here is the timed and donated... Ra oh, that's not, that's not it, Chief. That's not it. As you can hear, we have different Pokemon, like Votorb. And right here is the timed and donator rank. So if you guys feel inclined to do so, you guys can go ahead and donate to the server. All the donation ranks and time drinks are listed there. It's also listed on their store. So I'm going to leave their IP, the store, and the texture pack that I use for the Poke Mayhem server down in the description below. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Oh. Oh. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Wait, come back here. Wait a minute. He has a Monfernal. Hold up. I don't know who wants to battle, but like. He has a Monfernal. Okay. A Monfernal is the evolved version of uh, Chinchar. So, you know, just one stage up. Not, not too bad, you know. Okay, let's accept. Okay, this is going to be a tough battle. Fight. Level 5. Okay. Um, this is gonna be actually... I don't know if we can win. We might be able to win. I don't know. Okay, we're, we're not doing any... Oh, 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 what? Wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute. <laughs> Back to the Pokemon Center. What? That was a one-shot! Oh, Here's the shop, actually. <laughs> That's actually perfect right there. So you can buy a bunch of different things here, as you can see. And you have everything laid out. You can buy all these different materials. And there's a bunch of cool things that you can have for your Pixelmon base that you'll be building. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. So bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like the video. Hopefully you guys like these more daily videos. I'm trying to upload as much as possible. So I'm trying to do a lot. I have an editor and a GFX person now. So it's really helping out with the scheduling. I'll talk to you guys later.